Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami and you are watching civil engineers YouTube channel dear friends in this video lecture today i am going to discuss about why depth of beam is more than its breadth so of course many students they are confused in this topic that why we keep depth of beam more than its breadth suppose this is cross section for rcc beam if the width or the breadth of the beam is 9 inch so remember that the depth of the beam should be more than its width or breadth it should be 12 inch 10 inch 11 inch but it should be more than its width or breadth okay so what's the reason that we keep depth of the beam more than its breadth or width okay it should be more than width of the beam so what's the reason that we keep depth of the beam more than its weight or breadth so this is our topic for today so let's get started if this video is helpful for you so must like this video and subscribe this channel for more updates several engineering videos and uh, the topic is uh, why depth of beam is more than its breadth so first point is we keep depth of the beam more than its breadth to decrease or resist bending moment and increase strength of beam it's very important point to decrease or resist bending moment and increase the strength of beam so if we keep depth of the beam more than its breadth so it decrease or resist bending moment and beam okay so there will be not present more bending moment okay so it can resist or decrease the second point is we need to increase i value so what is i okay i value by increasing okay by increasing the depth of okay by increasing depth and decreasing breadth or width of beam okay so we need to increase i value by increasing depth of beam and decreasing its breadth or weight okay so where i is remember that i is moment of inertia moment of inertia about about natural axis okay it's very important okay so we have to increase moment of inertia in our cc beam okay so if you want to improve or increase moment of inertia so for that we have to increase the depth of the beam and decrease the breadth of the beam then the moment of inertia with natural axis should be more okay so there our structure means uh, our beam should be stable okay if we increase the moment of inertia so other point is here okay due to large depth rcc beam becomes stable okay this is the other point right and also strong and compression okay if we uh, provide the depth of the beam more than its weight okay say uh, so it's also become strong in compression okay or we can say uh, simply that compression is also negligible okay 
so these are the points which i've discussed the front of you so if you have any question about this video so you just comments i will try to reply your answer but remember that the depth of the beam should be more than its width and the width should be shorter than its depth so see you in next video thanks for watching goodbye